hey guys welcome back to my channel so we are discussing something very new in this video before i get into that i have my cup of tea with me and i also have wolfie here behind me i didn't want to interrupt him so i've sort of just left him to do, do his, his thing okay so this video we are actually doing about participating in a no buy oh there there he goes he's i think he's bored now let me open the door for him I don't think he's. I don't think he wants to go. No, maybe not. He's sticking here. Wolfie. Oh my god, this cat is such a troublemaker. You guys, he gets. He's so naughty. Oh, there we are. All right, let me close the door. So this month we are participating in the No by February, and let me tell you. This is such a, a new concept for me. I know it's like, it's not new, but not spending any money. I'm just like, oh, or shopping. Not not spending money, but like you're not shopping. It's like, oof. I don't know why for me that seems like such a big deal. That's because girl, I definitely got some issues. So if you haven't watched this video here, and this video I spoke about, getting rid of 70% of my clothing, all my things, and I felt so much happier about it. And I addressed the issues that I had, which were consumption, <laughs> impulse buying, shopping, you know, the whole palaver there, because it really was a thing for me and it is still a thing. And this is more like a continuation from that. And it's just to address <laughs> or try and like really improve where I'm at um in terms of all those areas that i want to improve in my life you know the impulse buying is a thing like the shopping girl if you do too much shopping you just don't need to do that much shopping you just don't need that many things so as a continuation from that and me putting this out there is really just to hold myself accountable and to see if anybody else wants to join me on this whole no spend no buy february uh so if you're not already familiar i love to shop i'm sure did i give that away yeah i think i did i love to shop and i've identified my triggers which are boredom surprise <laughs> stress hello <laughs> and then when i watch like youtube videos influences i don't really need much excuse but watching those whole videos or like those like outfit videos definitely does push me in a direction of going out to spend money so yeah social media you know it's an issue i got my cup of tea here so you know we're gonna sit and talk because it's a sunday and we need to make some changes around here so i decided to do this i actually did a no um by january i mean i didn't really i wasn't a hundred percent successful but it wasn't necessarily a challenge it was more like okay try it and see how you get on so for me I didn't actually buy any clothes and let me tell you i was so proud of myself however it is a bit of a um full sense of you know uh i don't know i was gonna say full sense of security or like me brainwashing myself to thinking that it was great because i i bought so much stuff in december i literally overspent in december so come january i actually didn't need anything at all so i don't know if that january counted but regardless i didn't spend any money I think I bought like one makeup item and like a hair product that ran out. So I'm still so thankful for that. Oh guys, I'm eating this Biscoff cake. It's like a Biscoff like um, vegan cheesecake and this shop they do like the best vegan cakes ever. I can hardly find good vegan cakes that I really like like that doesn't taste too, um, I don't know, Ugh, like something's missing. But this is a beautiful Biscoff cheesecake, vegan of course. So anyway, so the reason why I'm doing this, because before I even go any further in this video, I really, really want to, like I said, address, address my impulse buying. But I also want to shop more intentional and just forget everything about the whole re reason why I did the video, um, the clutter video, is to be more intentional. I'm consuming what I'm spending. Just 
everything that I'm doing I have to be top of mind so that's the ultimate goal for me and that's like more like a lifelong journey but also I'm hoping this me doing like a low buy or no spend will help with my other goals that I have for 2023 you know like my financial goals this is meant to sort of complement it and also aid those goals you know like I'm you know buying a house and also I'm getting married so it's like those things I do have to keep in mind and I can't be out I can't be out here going <laughs> and like just shopping when I want to shop so although I do love it and let me tell you guys since I'm addressing my my shopping issues here in this video there's nothing like a good dopamine rush you get from like getting something new getting something on like um on sale or discount and then trying it on you do get like a nice little kick you know it's like that buzz that sort of ee, ee, you know <laughs> Girl, yeah, girl. Mm. Got issues, but we try to fix it. We we try. We're growing. We're glowing, or we're glowing and growing. I know. And yeah, so that's for me. I need to really kick that back in. Um. So yeah, those are the reasons why is to be more intentional. It's to shop better as well. I want to buy better quality things because. Um, when I actually do impulse buy, I always buy like cheap materials that doesn't last me, and I have this annoying cycle of I'm buying like stuff it doesn't it doesn't last. I only get like a few wears out of it, or the washing machine shrinks it, kills it, whatever. Before you know it, it's no longer in my closet. I have to declutter or I have to get rid of. Um, so I do want to buy better, but I'm very impatient. So yeah because i'm very impatient i'll buy what's on trend or buy what's there rather than saving up too so i'm hoping this will you know allow me to sort of sit with like my urges you know like i want to buy something but can i wait is it going to kill me if i wait a little bit longer you know that for me is definitely an issue is being impatient which maybe you might you know be familiar with or not as in like you may um have similar similar issues i don't know <laughs> or similar you might be similar to me in that sense so those are like a whole bunch of reasons as to why we're really trying to do better here in 2023 and i'm hoping you guys will definitely join me on this journey i don't know why i feel a bit stuffy yeah hoping that you guys will join me on like you know in this participate with me in this month um, so we can hold each other accountable, you know, looking for like a, you know, accountability partner here, you know, shout me, DM me or something. Um, so I, so going, talking about triggers, right? So obviously my triggers are boredom, stress and being influenced. I'm also hoping that from this, I can really take back my time in terms of time I spend on like shopping you know browsing through or if i'm going around the high street i'll pop into like a charity shop to see what's there or just shop shop, shop in general like i'm thinking i have a lot of time on my hands here to be doing this thing so what could i be doing if i wasn't doing this you know if i wasn't spending if i wasn't searching or browsing the shops or whatever it was what else could i be doing so yeah and i'm sure if i'm bored there's clearly a lot of things i could be doing rather than being bored so on different hobbies, I'm currently learning a different language on Duolingo, you know, I'm trying to learn some French, you know, bonjour. <laughs> so, well. so probably could spend more time doing that. So that's another thing. So I actually wrote down like my rules because I've watched a lot of these videos just to sort of prepare myself to go on this no buy month. Um, and it, obviously the main thing is to have your own rules. So these are my rules, I'll just read them out to you is no new clothes which is the so much obvious but also no no secondhand clothing because i'm one that will pop into a charity shop i'm like no i'm just gonna have a look i'm just gonna have a look and then before you know it i'm like oh it's only like five pounds it's only three pounds so i'll come out with clothes surprise surprise um skincare hair care is a no for me uh for one obviously i got rid of a lot of my hair care stuff um and also skincare only if it runs out which i don't think it will um because i bought enough in december but if it runs out then i'll obviously um get it but no makeup is definitely no for me i have enough makeup i don't need any more home decor <laughs> girl i do love i do love a good deco i do love a good deco but it's a no for now because i'll have plenty of time to do that when we you know move into the new place 
accessories no and i love buying accessories especially because it's meant to be cheaper um but that's definitely no uh, the last one for me, and this is definitely a personal one um, that I recognize is an issue. And it shouldn't be, but it is. <laughs> and that's like educational content. I, I'm i one, I'm, I'm a huge fan of personal development. If it's going to aid me, I'll buy it. I don't care. I'll spend the money on the course if I think I'll get some skill from it. However, I have the tendency to buy more than I actually need. Like... I'll buy a course and I'll, I'll start it and I won't finish it and then I'll buy another one because I have that said shiny object syndrome where I'm like oh this one didn't teach me what I needed to know so let me go and buy that one. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and I'll, um, and I'll have accumulation of these like on online or digital courses or you know if you're like a blogger influence I'll, I will actually buy your program if I like it. I'm not the type of person. However, that's still money. <laughs> and that's still me spending and it's no longer um, for like to, to better me. It's more like to consume, you know? For some reason, there's like a, a big like a threshold that you cross. There's like an invisible line. I, I never seem to recognize where that invisible line is from when it starts being like educational to benefit me to when it becomes more like a shopping thing i don't know i somehow always cross the line and i never know how so that's a no i do obviously have exceptions because they, they say to have exceptions to everything and my exception here is obviously necessities if i need anything if anything runs out and also uh, what's my other one i wrote down personal grooming for me is definitely a necessity not necessity uh necessity is it really do my nails is it really necessary maybe not however it does make me feel good so i'm definitely keeping that in so personal grooming do my nails my eyebrows whatever i'm even gonna get my hair done um that for me is scheduled and budget for so that's that will be an exception so those are my rules those are my exceptions and i think i have my phone here so that my intention for February really is to just make use of what I already have. So all the things that I have in my closet already, can I rewear them in a certain way? Can I style them differently? Um, and focus on, and try not to focus on what I don't have, like the gaps in my wardrobe. Because I always like, mm, there's a gap here. If I got this, it will definitely complete the outfit. So it's more like to get rid of that mindset. That was more like the intention for February to aid with my, you know, my overall goals for 2023. You know, my financial goals, my personal goals or whatnot. I can always do videos on that if you guys are interested. This is just like a, I don't know if anybody's going to be watching. My YouTube count is very low anyway. So just putting it out there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I'll be participating in, the, in, the, in my, you know, no February no by february and i may do an update let me know if you're interested um and i can do one and if you want to join me go ahead girl join me please let me know what your triggers are you know what you spend more money on like when it comes to is it clothes is it like accessories is it home decor you know like what do you tend to spend money on if you're similar to me in that same situation i would love to know and 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 what your triggers like what are you prevent like what are you gonna do to avoid those triggers like, for me before i was meant to end this video but you know for me i'm definitely gonna be avoiding or limiting the amount of content i'm consuming on social media in terms of youtube videos like haul videos anything that's gonna like push me in that direction to buy to buy i will not be watching any of those things so that's just my example let me know what yours is and as usual, I really appreciate you watching. Um, give me a big thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this. And yeah, um, let me know. I'm sure YouTube will have some good suggested videos here. Go check, go check those videos out. That and do give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And as usual, I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.